title of my talk is Pure and Applied Phenomenology. If we look at phenomenology as a philosophical tradition, I think it's fair to say that it has been a, a source of inspiration uh, from, for a lot of disciplines outside uh, academic philosophy, and that this is something that basically happened from the very start. I mean, already, if we go to uh, the first decade of the 20th century, uh, we can find the uh, psychiatrists and experimental psychologists who were inspired by Husserl. Uh, and not long after, other disciplines joined in, uh, for instance, sociology and, and anthropology. So it has been, I think, a, a very wide range of applications of phenomenology from the very start. And I think this is part of the reason why phenomenology has been so popular, I mean, probably more popular than at least some other philosophical uh, traditions. One of the problems, though, is that there's, no, there's really no consensus about how one ought to apply phenomenology. I mean, what method should one use in order to make the application uh, phenomenological? What I want to do in the first part of my talk is to uh, present to you uh, some of the leading approaches within contemporary qualitative uh, research. I want to talk a little bit about uh, Jonathan Smith's interpretive phenomenological analysis, about uh, Max van Manen's hermeneutic phenomenology, and about uh, Amadeo George's uh, descriptive phenomenological method. And I mean, these methods are widely used in a range of fields, including applied psychology, educational research, nursing, nursing studies, also educational research, as, as I said. Uh, so it's definitely worth looking uh, closer at how these three theorists are, are really uh, approaching the question of how best to apply uh, phenomenology. Mm -hmm.